want to thank you guys oh so much because I have hit 600 subscribers. I remember making this YouTube channel and doing it for people's entertainment and fun. I'm still doing it to this day because I find it enjoying, but uh, who cares about me? Let's get on to your guys' lovely little third and fourth episode. Well, part, I should say. Thank you so much for listening. Your POV. It has been two years since I moved in with the Uberashikis. They have treated me as if I was their own child, and I treasure them. As if they were my own family. I never could forget my biological mother, nor father. I still kept being myself as my mother requested and continued to remember how much they loved me infinitely. But as of now, I was currently pretending, oh, preparing to enter the final selection. Mr. Uberashiki said that he had no doubt that I could pass. The family wished me good luck, and I went on my way. I had my mother's sword in hand, ready for final selection. As I was walking, admiring the wisteria, I accidentally bumped into a boy with reddish locks. Oh, I'm so sorry, I said, slightly bowing. Oh, no worries, he said, waving his hand. Are you also here for final selection? I asked as we continued, as we started walking together. Yeah, he replied, though I'm kind of worried. I hear it's really tough, he said, looking down. I patted his head and looked at him. Keep your chin up. Don't lose hope. I can see it in your eyes that you have a strong spirit. I know you can do it. You said, giving him an encouraging smile. Then I gasped. You've been talking this whole time, and I haven't properly introduced myself. My apologies. I'm Yin Lin. And who might you be? I said, I asked curiously. I'm Tanjiro Kamino, he said, with a bit of a blush. I s smiled and shook his hand, then made eye contact and smiled. Let's do our best, I said, letting go of his hand and getting ready for the test. Soon, Kayaka and Kayata showed up and welcomed us to the final selection. They told us that we had to survive for five nights. They wished us luck, and final selection had begun. I was running through the forest and killing demons. I saw a girl with a butterfly clip about to attack be attacked by a demon. Total concentration. Angel breathing. First form. Angelic feather. As he disappearment, me and the butterfly clip girl made eye contact. I smiled at her and waved. I like your hair clip. It's really beautiful. I said, then continued the rest of the night. It was the final night and soon daybreak came and I was once again surrounded by wisteria flowers. We were back into the center where we started the final selection. Then I saw there were five people, only five people of us. Not even half of us survived. I felt such sorrow for the people who died. I said a quick prayer for the people who had unfortunately died. Then I looked and saw, and saw Tanjiro. I walked behind him and said, he turned and saw me. I saw him injured on his head. Oh, hi, Yin. I'm glad you survived, he said with a smile. I pulled out a little pin and gave it to him. He looked at it confused. It's a special medicine. My mother taught me how to make it. It makes it made with fresh herbs. It will numb the pain of the he like headaches and will help your wounds heal faster, I told him, and he thanked me and swallowed the pill. Then Kayurka and Kayata came out and congratulated on passing final selection. A boy with a mohawk asked about his nutrient sword, and then they said they had to discuss rankings. We were currently at the lowest rank, and they were assigned crows. They were quite the very, quite the pretty animals. I pet mine on the top of the head gently. It seemed to enjoy it, but 
Then there was a sudden yell. Who cares about some stupid crow? The boy with the mohawk said, walking up to Kayaka and grabbed her by the hair. He started yelling at her how he wanted his sword. I walked up and grabbed his arm. He looked at me. Release her now. That's no way to act. I said in a stern, a stern voice. Make me, he said. Despite my frame, I'm actually quite strong. I grabbed his arm a bit tighter, causing him to let go and back away. I looked at Kayata and fixed her hair. She smiled at me, and I smiled back. After that, Kairika then told us that we had to choose our own oar to forge our sword. The sword I had and trained with is my mother's, but Mr. Uburushiki suggested that I should get my own blade. So, as we looked at the oars, I went with my illusionism and grab oh i'm just gonna say instinct instinct and grabbed an oar that gave me good feeling soon we all picked our oars and then they had to put us in measurements for our uniforms they are then we were given permission to go home then said that they would take 10 to 15 days for our swords to be forged and delivered soon the slayers left and i left karika and Kayata. Thank you for stopping that boy pulling my hair, Onisan, Keika said, giving a, you a nice smile. You're welcome. I smiled. We're so glad you passed. I was so scared you were gone killed, Onisan, Keika said, revealed, but also with concern. After, after a year with living with the Uberushiki, Mr. and Mr. Uberushiki's children started calling me Onisan. The parents were fine were fined with it, so they just kept calling me that. It fills me with happiness that I didn't have any sibling that I didn't have any siblings growing up. Well, no need to worry your pretty heads anymore. I'm fine and now officially a demon slayer. Now how about we head home and tell everyone the good news? I said, and they both nodded their heads and started heading home. Welcome Yin, welcome home. Mr. Uberushiki greeted me. I bowed and said, thank you, Uberush Mr. Uberushiki, or should I say, okay, I think, okiatan okay sama I said, bowing slightly, lifting up my head when I asked the question. He slightly chuckled. You can still call me Mr. Uberushiki, but call me Okiyanata-san, sama, sorry, in front of other demon slayers, he said. I understand. I said, still bowing. Now I can imagine you are very tired and hungry, so how about we head to every, to join everyone else for dinner? Then you can head off to bed, he said, and I nodded, and helped him to lead him to the room to eat with everyone else. Yin, Yin! I heard someone calling my name over and over. I looked around and saw a familiar hair colored when I started running towards them as fast as I can. Yin! The woman called out, and... I re realized who it was. I jumped right into her arms as I cried. Mom, I sobbed, being so happy to see her. My, how you've grown. I believe you've even more beautiful than you have also become a demon slayer. I'm so proud of you. I know that leaving you alone was wrong, and I can only imagine what that did to you. I'm so sorry, she said. Mother, I know why you did it, and it was the only thing you could do. I want you to know I'm not angry and I forgive you, I said, just hugging her as she hugged me tighter. You, st you still have that beautiful heart of yours as well. Thank you, Yin. Remember me and your father even after life. Love you, Infinity. Stay strong. I know you will do great things. My mother told me the dream was ending. Even though it was sad, I was happy. I got to see her again. Goodbye, mother. I'll do my best, he said as you started to get brighter and brighter. Goodbye, my daughter. I know you'll be great. That was the final thing she said as you woke up. I looked up at the ceiling, and a single thought went through your head. I will not fail you, mother, father. I will bring an end to this tragedy. My journey begins now.